Welcome everyone, my name is Dr. Safniel Parikh and for the last 14 years I have tutored and trained over 10,000 students and tutors across Florida in test prep, cognitive testing, college advising and more. In today's uh, webinar we're going to be going over admissions 101, Florida University requirements for future scholars and everything you need to know from South Florida, University of Miami, all the way up to University of West Florida. We're gonna go over all the stats as of 2024. As always, we can be reached at 1-888-509-1067 or by email at contact at sapneeltutoring.com. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we will be more than happy to help you. So the University of Miami, the stats for the class of 2028 are listed there. 3.8, average unweighted GPA, between a 1360 and a 1490, the middle 50% SAT. The ACT was between a 31 and a 34, about a 19 to 21% admission rate. 64% of the students are Florida, are non-Florida residents, 29% are Florida residents, and 7% are international. Uh, around 53,000 students applied and about 9,000 got admitted. The overview, so it's one of the top research universities of the country. You have uh, Jackson Memorial Hospital, Baskin Palmer Eye Institute, uh, Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center and a variety of different uh, research funded uh, health institutions. It's ranked number 67 uh, nationally, about a 70% grad rate and notable programs are in medicine, marine science, business, music and law. Some of the pathways uh, for the program, the honors program, which provides academically talented students with a very rigorous curriculum uh, and personalized advising for their long term goals. Uh, uh, small class sizes and specialized courses. Uh, there's a great study abroad program. Uh, we always recommend this to students to do it if you have the opportunity to do it in college. Uh, 16 overseas programs and they have 40 partner universities across the world. Uh, the dual degree program, students can pursue two majors at once. Uh, one is an undergraduate, another one is a graduate program. Uh, on accelerated timeline, uh, there's early action, early decision are all available. Usually those cutoffs are gonna be around November 1st uh, 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 and come in uh, around uh, January, the results. Uh, students are definitely considered for uh, merit-based scholarships as well as financial aid um, if they apply, um, and, and so that's very it's highly recommended. The next university in, in Miami is FIU, or Florida International University. Uh, this is a university that's one of the top public universities in the state. Um, it's also uh, up and coming, has a law school, has a medical school, uh, and there's many other graduate programs that are well known. Some of the stats for the class of 2028, 4.1 to 4.7 GPA weighted. Uh, the summer GPA is a little bit lower, 3.9 to 4.4 if you're planning on applying for summer. Uh, 1250 to 1390 is the middle 50% SAT. The summer SAT was a little bit lower, about 200 points lower from a 1090 to 1190 range. The ACT, about 26 to 31, and a 21 to 24 for the ACT for summer entry. Uh, 23, 24, there was about 53 in incoming undergrad students. So the overview, it you know, has one of the best uh, law schools, about a number one pass rate, uh, over 90%. Uh, it's ranked 124 nationally, 70% graduation rate for the undergrad, uh, 10 universities and bachelor programs. Uh, it's a very commuter-based school, so there's a lot of people that work and go to school at the same time. Uh, offers a very competitive uh, program or pathway for the seven-year uh, Bachelor of Science and the medical degree pathway. Pathways are Golden Scholars. This is for underrepresented, uh, underserved minorities that are first-time college uh, entrants. Uh, they may come from a family that has never gone into college and they're the first generation to go in there. Uh, this is a six-week program over the summer with academic prep and advising, and then they go off into the, the regular uh, fall, matriculated the fall semester. Uh, there's Connect for Success. It's designed for applicants attending uh, the state, uh, you know, state college of Florida system, Miami-Dade, Broward Community College. Uh, FIU holds their application until they transition, uh, and then they meet with an advisor across different campuses in FIU, and they select the major and move forward. Next is in Orlando. University of Central Florida, the stat class, stats of uh, class of 2028, about a 4.0 to 4.5, 3.9 to 4.3 for the summer entrance, 1300 is about a 1400 for the fall SAT and about 1180 to 1250 for the summer. ACT was about a 29 to 31 and the ACT was anywhere between a 24 to 26. The overview, so a lot of students applied, over 60,000 and, and about uh, a little more than 15% got accepted, 8,300. 4,900 for the fall and a little bit less, about 3,500 for the summer. Uh, the Rosen College of Hospitality Management is one of the best in the country, uh, number one in the U.S. for worldwide. Um, there's you know a couple of different programs that have strong hospitality programs in, in Florida, UCF being one of them, FIU being one of them as well. Uh, it's 124 among national universities. It's really well known for computer engineering uh, and, and computer science programs. 
Uh, some of the pathways, uh, again, they have a four-year program that offers a small college experience if you're in the Honors College. Uh, there's an Honors Symposium, uh, GE courses or general education, upper division courses. There's an Honors Undergraduate Thesis, uh, anywhere between two to four semester program, and you conduct research in your own specific area of interest. Uh, there's what we call STEP, or Supporting Teacher Education and Peer Professionals. Uh, this is for those who plan to become teachers or guidance assistants, uh, university life and ongoing advising. There is also in Boca, Florida Atlantic University. Uh, uh, this is a university that has been around for a while. They have a very good, strong uh, Jupiter campus with the Neuroscience Institute, uh, some great uh, medical school programs, uh, and some other great graduate programs as well. Uh, the staff of the class of 2028 are anywhere between a 3.7 to about a 4.3 weighted. Summer is a little bit lower, about 3.3 to 4.0. Uh, SAT ranges from about 1100 to 1250, uh, and summer is about 200 points lower. The fall ACT is about a 22 to 28, and that summer one goes lower about four points. Uh, and so, you know, overall about 45,000 undergraduate students applied, about 24,000 were admitted, so about half. Overview, about 170 degree programs. It's a really good public university with ethnic diversity, a lot of internship opportunities, a very good doctoral level undergraduate research university, and you have what's called the Wilkes Honors College that is a pipeline to some of the other programs. Uh, you, you want to be around a 4.0 to 4.5 weighted GPA to yeah, gain entry into this program directly from high school. <clears throat> Pathways. <clears throat> so there's a <clears throat> academic coaching and career enhancement for student success. Uh, this talks about testing skills, strategies, motivation. So this is another uh, pathway for students at FAU. The New College of Florida. So this is a, a college out of Sarasota and its uh, stats are you know anywhere between 3.9 to 3.3 fall or summer. Uh, about a 1040 to 1170 summer or fall SAT, and anywhere between a 23 to a 26 for ACT are the stats. It's known for uh, being a very good public arts, uh, liberal arts college. It's small class sizes. A lot of people go on to earn their PhDs in liberal arts, uh, English, philosophy, literature, so on and so forth before uh, going on to maybe uh, partnering uh, 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 law school in the area. Um, and so this is very common for students to do that. USF, uh, class of 2028, about 4.0 to about 4.8. Uh, you're looking at a summer or fall spread of a GPA anywhere between 1190 or 1100 to about a 1400, depending on when you're applying, and a 22 to about a 30 for the ACT. So there's kind of a, a big spread, and obviously summer entrance is a lot uh, less rigid based on GPA and, and SAT, ACT requirements. Overview, it's a top 50 uh, law schools nationally. It does have a medical school, there's other graduate programs, a pretty big climate and sustainability program. Uh, there's internships and research project, projects. Uh, there's nursing, engineering, and public health programs as well throughout the University of South Florida. It's in the Tampa area, so there's a lot of opportunity, a lot of growing companies that are in that area as well. Uh, a lot of corporate companies have relocated their headquarters or a satellite branch in the Tampa area. And there's a lot of general development that's in the area as well. Uh, this is another new one, Florida Polytechnic Institute. It's been around for a while. It's really come on the map. Their stats are anywhere between a 3.8 to a 4.5, depending on if you're applying to summer or fall. Uh, anywhere between 11.30 or about a 13.80 for SAT. And same thing, 23 or about 30 for the ACT. And, and so what are they known for? Overview is gonna be you know research grants from uh, fields like cybersecurity, robotics, uh, National Science Foundation is a very STEM high program. Very small university, about 1,600 students, small class size, very good. Accelerated pathways, uh, you get you know, fall term, uh, spring term, summer, you get to take more classes than the traditional you know, uh, 12 credits every semester. Uh, so sometimes people can complete 30 credits instead of 12 months and 10 months. Uh, very strong in computer science and engineering as well. University of Florida, uh, this is one of the top universities in the state. Uh, GPA is anywhere between a 4.8 to 4.3, maybe a little bit higher depending on summer or fall. We always say SAT scores to be safe above a 1250 for summer, above a 1400 for fall. Uh, AC, ACT is definitely above a 28 <clears throat> uh, fall, usually between the 32 and a 35. It's known for a very uh, aggressive graduation rate, about 89%. A lot of them are in the College of Engineering as it ranks top 20 in the country. <clears throat> a lot of students receive financial aid, notable majors in uh, biomedical sciences, business management, social sciences, engineering. They have a fantastic medical school and Shands Hospital, which is one of the top tier one trauma level one center hospitals across the country uh, with a lot of graduate residency and fellowship programs as well. So it's very well known for, for some of the top medical programs in the country. Some of the pathways are summer freshman entry, fall freshman entry, and then what we call PACE, 
uh, paces a pathway to campus enrollment will they'll do two years online and then transfer those 60 credits on campus and they'll graduate uh, uh, with a four-year degree and the eligibility transfers a lot of people have started to do this program there's also the innovate academy which is you know adding an innovate innovation certificate to their regular uh, entrance into the program so that's something else that's new as well uh, the UF honors program is listed here and we talk a little bit about how competitive it is and how to get into that program uh, we always recommend students apply after the first year uh, if they if they qualify for it University of North Florida uh, stats, class of 2028, about a 4.1 to 4.6, a little bit lower for GPA for summer, 3.6 to 4.9. And, and so the summer, between summer and fall, you're looking at anywhere between a 1240 to a 1500 SAT and a 27 to about a 34 ACT. The overview, notable health care programs, engineering, criminal justice. There's a doctoral program, high research activity, uh, and they offer a lot of peer tutoring, academic coaching for this program at UNF. Uh, Pathways to Osprey Summer Program is the students enrich their learning uh, by participating in activities beyond the classroom. Uh, they also have the option to get a scholarship as well. Florida State University, FSU in Tallahassee in the state capital. GPA requirements anywhere between 4.1 and 4.7. We always say the SATs 1250 to about 1400 depending on summer or fall. And the same thing with the ACT about a 28 to a 34 depending on if they're applying summer or fall. The overview, it's a really good public college, one of the best in the state of Florida. Nationally, it's 53, and the College of Law, College of Theater, College of Medicine, really strong programs. They have satellite campuses for the College of Medicine in different parts of the state, uh, and really strong fellowship and uh, research programs as well, and some great graduate programs. So there's a lot of options for students that are trying to attend this, as, as well as a robust uh, SE, you know, robust um, uh, football program like UF and University of Miami at UCF and FIU. Uh, pathways, combined masters to bachelors, there's also Panama City Seminole pathway uh, for quality education, a little smaller class sizes, so sometimes students prefer to start at that campus. FAMU, Florida A&M Universities, uh, this is, you know, 3.8 to about 3.4, fall and summer about a 1020 to 1150, ACT entry between 20 to 24. Uh, some of the overview uh, of the program is the following. Uh, it's one of the uh, Florida's historically black college universities, so HBCUs. That uh, is a college of pharmacy, uh, 91st of the top 100 universities. It has a pretty high social mobility index as well. CE bachelors, so you know computer engineering bachelors, as well as uh, Merck pathways support students in research, a biomedical research workforce, and you know uh, has uh, seen to award graduates with some type of stipend as well. University of West Florida. Class stats of 2028, anywhere between 3.5 to 4.3. Uh, SAT is between 1,000 to uh, about 1,300, and ACT is anywhere between 20 to 27, depending on summer or fall. Great nursing program, you know, 27 to 136, and, and some other great nursing, uh, nursing psychology, criminal justice programs as well. Pathways are, you know, industry pathways, uh, uh, whether students are trying to get post work graduation, uh, there's also Argos Pathway to Success. Uh, demonstrate potential for success in college uh, would benefit from this transitional support as well. All right, so all these programs uh, qualify for what we call Florida Bright Futures or also if you've been enrolled in a Florida prepaid or a 529 program. Florida Bright Futures uh, is really uh, broken down into the Florida Merit or Florida Medallion Scholarship and the Florida Academic Scholarship and has some SAT, ACT requirements as well as the CLT requirements. So there's some different levels. And so we discussed them here, uh, what it covers 100% is called Florida Academic and Florida Medallion is 75% and approximate $214 per credit of tuition up to 120 credits and about 159. So you've got to look at whether or not you have prepaid and bright futures and what that spread looks like as well. Uh, SSAR, uh, that's an academic record that generally is submitted after the Common App. Schools that require it are listed there, UF, UCF, FSU, USF. UCF calls it a different name called SPARK. That's really important. All right, once again, thank you so much uh, for this presentation. We hope it was insightful. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out uh, to contact us. We can be reached at 1-888-509-1067. Uh, we hope to help you achieve your academic goals and have a great day. Thank you.